their third year of playing. Um, okay. uh, we've had a really good and fun start to um, the year with them. We're going to start off with a uh, piece of music that we played for the Veterans Day Assembly. Most of you were not able to be there. Um, this is a great arrangement of America the Beautiful. by um, the assistant director both here at the middle school and at the high school. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Matthew Schultz. <laughs> Next piece we're going to play is called Electricity. It's a pretty exciting overture. Um, got a lot of exciting electrical figures in it.
All right, our next piece, I always like to take a, a, a high school level piece of music and kind of challenge the eighth grade with it, and that's what this piece is. And especially, um, it's impressive for, for them to be able to pull it off in the first semester of eighth grade. Uh, this is a overture titled Convergence.
we've had a really just amazing two, 2016 with the with the North Band program as a whole, from the middle school to the high school level. Um, really, it kind of started right on the tail end of uh, 2015. The North High Jazz Band um, was selected to play at the Midwest Clinic in Chicago, Illinois, which is the largest band and orchestra clinic in the world. It's an amazing honor. Um, last year, our eighth grade band um, was selected as one of two middle school ensembles in the state of Missouri to play at the Missouri Music Educators Association Conference. Uh, it was an awesome experience for the kids. This past fall, um, the North High Marching Band, um, we went undefeated in um, local competitions and then at the Bands of America Super Regional, which takes up all of the bands of the Midwest and pretty much any band that that is really competitive in the state of Missouri. Um, it, it places them over two days, 60 bands playing at the Dome, and we were um, number 12 overall, and we were the uh, second place band in the state of Missouri. So we had a great year with them. And then um, one, one final note on uh, with jazz band, with, with North High Jazz Band, where Getting ready in about a month, the uh, North High Jazz Band is going to be playing at the National uh, Jazz Educators Conference in New Orleans, Louisiana. They were selected at the end last year for that. So we are very, very busy, but it's a great time for you and your student to be a part of the program. So we thank you for that. We also had one other, uh, another great accomplishment with the middle school band this past year. Um, for I think the third or fourth year in a row, we have led the St. Louis metro area in, 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 our, in our metro district and the number of students picked for um, our metro ensembles. Uh, the metro district is all the Zumwalt schools, all the Francis Howell schools, and all of the St. Louis city schools and all of the parochial schools in St. Charles and St. Louis counties. This takes up over 30 schools, and, and again, this year we were number one. The students that, uh, we had 22 total selected, and the students in the eighth grade, if you can hold your applause till the end, and if they could stand up when I call your name, the, these students were Madeline Burwell, Isabel Hill, Nicole Cab, who's over here, Blake Canada, who's over here, Jason Hunt, Miles Rogers, Mason Salazar, Colton Hill, stay standing, Jay Darter, Ben Brown, Abby Brothers, Kaylee Braun, Andy Wyman, Mason Waller, Lauren Miller, and Eric Olson. Will you please give them a round of applause? And now, um, we just threw this together in about, what, like, a week and a half or two? Like, maybe like a week. We probably did it in like, like four real rehearsals, we put this one together. This is um, Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy from the Nutcracker Suite, and it features um, our, our clarinet quartet, that's what we'll call them today, um, of Emily Wolf, Blake Canada, Nicole Caps, and Belle Hill.
final word before we pack up. Um, we have a few uh, more concerts coming up in the second semester. Um, the first one that'll be there is the Middle School Band Festival, which this year, if you remember going to that last year at East High School, it's on the last Saturday of February this year. It's going to take place at the South High Auditorium. Um, we'll probably play sometime in the early afternoon on that Saturday. I'm not exactly sure yet. We haven't put out the times for that. And then we'll play our concert in April, and then we will do our competition at Six Flags, which we won that last year, so you have to defend a title, okay? <laughs> There's a lot of pressure on that, okay? Um, so we got that at the end of the year. So we, we, we've, got, we've got another fun year um, ahead, and then um, as much as it pains me to just even think about it right now, because we really, I mean, we got done with our marching season actually last weekend because our football team decided they needed to make the state championship. So we, we went all the way through to the end of November. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, sure. It's really, uh, we had fun. It was, we had fun. It was just a really long season. Um, but we had to start thinking about that um, way in advance. And Mr. Babel, who couldn't be here for this portion of the concert, uh, for the concert tonight, has already been talking to the students about summer scheduling. Um, I will have here in the front, if your student didn't bring it home, which I would be shocked if one of them forgot to do that, but there will be um, calendars for the summer up here if you didn't receive one yet. And if we run out, just email Mr. Babel and he can send it to you. Um, it is very important that you get these dates on your calendar if your student is planning on being in the March band, which of course we hope they are. It's very important um, for some of the dates that you get on the calendar because if they plan on being in the band in high school, there are a couple weeks really starting about the, the third week of July that they get, that it's really important that they're there. We can always try to work around things, but it would really help if you would get them on your calendar and then if you have any questions about it, talk to Mr. Babel immediately. I get a lot of emails from parents um, asking about high school band with eighth grade parents and I, and I will always forward your email to Mr. Babel because starting next year, he will be the head director. So any questions about the future, I would send his way, please. Again, this has been a really fun group to work with. Um, been a very smooth first part of the year and um, I know Mr. Schultz and Mr. Babel and myself have really had a great time with them. We're going to close with a march um, called Flying Tigers, and it is one of the, usually I do march, I, I like to do marches every single concert. Um, the audience always loves hearing a march, the band usually hates to play a march, but for the first time in my career, I have found a march that the band loves to play. So, this is Flying Tigers by David Schaefer. Thank you very much for coming out. <laughs>